Welcome nga po kayo ulit dito sa aking uh, YouTube channel at ito na nga po ang part 2 ng ating module 3 ng General Mathematics ang Operations on Functions ito nga po ang Multiplication Muli po natin balikan ang ating formula The quantity of F times G of X equals f of x times g of x. Direct na tayo sa formula. For example, you have f of x equals 3x and g of x equals 4x minus 11. Find the product of f times g of x. To solve on this, the very first step is always write the formula. The formula will teach you what to do. As the first operations, what we will do is, first is to substitute. So, we have f of x which is equal to 3x times the value of g of x is 4x minus 11. The given f of x is a monomial, g of x is a binomial. So, simply, we can apply in this the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So, we have 3x times 4x is equal to 12x squared. 3x times negative 11 is negative 33x. Since the two products have no more like terms, therefore, that is now the product of f of g of x. Now, let's take another sample. For instance, f of x is equal to 4x minus 7 and g of x is equal to x plus 5 find the product of f and g of x. Same as I said, in every solution, please write always the formula in order for you to guide what to do throughout the Solution. After writing the formula, what shall we do is to continue to solve of substituting the value of f of x, which is equivalent to 4x minus 7. And the value of g of x, which is x plus Five. Since the two givens are both binomial, so we can apply here the so-called FOIL method. FOIL method is applicable for the product of binomials. It stands for F for the product of the first term, O product of the outer terms, I product of the inner terms, and L product of the last term. Let us now apply the FOIL method. F, product of the first term. So, 4x times x. So, we have 4x squared. Product of the outer terms. So, we have 4x times 5. So, we have plus 20 x 
product of the inner terms. 7 times x is negative 7x and product of the last term which is negative 7 times 5 is negative 35. Since on the products we have 20x and 7x that are like terms and the two others have no like terms so therefore simply copy them. 4x squared, 20x and 7x are different signs so subtract we have plus 13x and just copy 35. Since no more like terms, we can now say that the product of f and g of x is equal now to 4x plus 13x minus 35. Third example. Another f of x, which is equal to x squared minus 1, and g of x is equal to x plus 3, as usual, find f times g of x. Again, write the formula. Again, after the formula, substitution of the value of f of x and g of x. f of x is x squared minus 1, while g of x is x plus 3. Again, we have the binomial, so we will apply the FOIL method. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 3 is plus 3x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And last term, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Sorry, we have a squared here. Now, look at the four terms. They are all in different terms so therefore that is now the answer we say that f times g of x is equal now to x squared plus 3x minus x minus 3 for the last example again f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 3 and h of x equals 2x plus 5. Find f times h of x. Once again, write the formula. f times h sub x equals f of h times h sub x substitute. f of x is x squared minus 2x plus 3 while a sub x is 2x plus 5. Now, this is now a trinomial and this is a binomial. So, FOIL method is now not applicable on this. What I will suggest to you, if you have a polynomial times a poly another polynomial, for example, you have now three terms, three terms and more, the quite easier approach here is to multiply it using the vertical method. So what you will do is you will find a scratch paper, then you will do the vertical method. 
In your scratch, do the following operation. x squared minus 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 5. Start from the right. 5 times 3 is positive 15. 5 times negative 2x is negative 10x. 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 2x times 3 is positive 6x. 2x times negative 2x is negative 4x squared. 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. Okay, let us continue. Bring down 15. Negative 10 and positive 6, different signs. 10 minus 6 is 4x. 10 is negative, so negative 4x. 5 minus 4 is 1x, or simply write x squared. 1 is imaginary. 5 is positive, that's why x squared is positive also. Then bring down 2x cubed. From your scratch, since the product of x squared minus 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 5 is equal to 2x squared, 2x cubed I mean, plus x squared minus 4x plus 15, and that is now also our f of h of x.